You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. The National Assembly of Cambodia has fully approved the 10th Amendment of the Cambodian Constitution after opening the 7th plenary session of the 6th legislature on Thursday, 28th July. ESC News reporter Anthony Ellis has further details. The 105 lawmakers from the CPP voted anonymously to approve the full passage of the 10th Constitution following debates between lawmakers and the government representative Bun Chen and Justice Minister Kurt Rip. The chairman of the National Assembly's sixth special committee, Pan Panya, informed the president of the National Assembly that the committee fully supported the draft law without modification and requested the National Assembly to hold discussion meeting. Representative of the royal government, Bun Chen, said that the law is made to ensure the stability of the government and protect the well-being of people. Justice Minister Kurt Rit also defended the law from allegations made from civil social organisation and four other political parties, saying their claims were baseless and they did not understand the law and were only refuting it from the future benefit of their own parties, not the benefit of the nation. There was no request from the MPs to discuss the draft constitution any further. The draft constitution law on the amendment of the articles 19, 89, 98, 102, 119 and 125 of the constitution of the Kingdom of Cambodia and articles 3 and 4 of the additional constitution was approved by the council ministers on 8 July 2022. After the law is passed, the National Assembly will send it to the Senate for further approval and amendment before sending it to the King for his official signature. This morning at the National Assembly, 105 members, including Prime Minister Hun Sen, took time of his busy schedule to be able to vote for the 10th Amendment. The vote was 105 for the new change. It will happen now, it will go to the Senate for the approval from the Senate. Once it has been approved from the Senate, it will then go to the King, where the King will sign off. As soon as the King signs off on it, it will take effect immediately. Anthony Ellis, National Assembly, Phnom Penh.